Hello. I haven't done a stream for a little while, so I thought, what the heck? I thought I'd do one today. Um, and I'll have someone joining me in a little bit. But until then, how are you all doing? Can you all see me, hear me? Am I not freezing? Let me know if I am. What have you been up to? I've been trying to outline a couple of stories. It's going rather slow. Um, I've been shopping. Hence, I've still got my coat on because it's a bit cold out. A bit cold in here as well, actually. And I've got the coffee. I had to go and get some more earlier. And I've got a couple of bits to do later on, like making a roast dinner. That's going to be fun. It's been years since I've made a roast dinner. So I'm... it's going to be a lot of work. So I've got maybe an hour and a half before I have to start that. But until then, I am here for about an hour. And hopefully, get some writing done. At least some outline. So the kids are all playing games, playing Pokemon and watching DVDs. So I'm here for a little while. Might even do another one tonight. I'm not sure yet. Maybe. Don't know. We'll see. I've not decided yet what I'm actually going to do. Might do another one tomorrow. But I do want to start doing some streams again because I need to get some words written. It's taken me much too long to get some work done. I'm hoping to earn actual some decent money, real money, from my books this year. So... I have to write something. Even if it's just a little bit. I have to write something. Make sure I've got books coming out there. Which means getting them finished. Really I've got like four books that I want to do. All at the same time. It's going to be madness. I'm not even sure how I'm going to do it yet. I'll have to divide my time a little bit. Oh. But on the bright side, I've been going back to reading one of my favourite books. And I've read this like 20 times. I really do enjoy this book. I've got my notepad and pen next to me. So that if I come up with some good ideas, I can quick jot it down. But yes, it's going to be okay. I'm, I'm going to do okay. Well then, I am going to do a 10 minute sprint I think feel free to do the words feel free to join me Let's have a look got it all set up this time Which 
Alright. Time is up. How did you do? I have done. How much have I done? I have done hmm. not bad. I have done not bad. That's we I have done three hundred words exactly. That is pretty impressive with my ten minutes. That is a good outcome. Hmm. How did you all do? I'd be really interested to know. Um, I just got to the bit where I've started the catalyst to set things rolling and set up so it's getting there the beginning is getting there now i just gotta move on past that bit hmm not sure where i'm going with it yet we'll see it's still the outline, so I've got time to plan it a little bit better. Hmm. What am I going to do? I don't know. I actually don't know what I'm going to do yet. I hadn't quite written it out that far. I had a, just a gist of an idea. I'm just trying to flesh the idea out of what I want from the story before I can go into the full planning. Oh, it's going to take time. But until then, what books are you reading? Is there anyone favourite book that you've read multiple times? Would you read one and never read it again? What kind of readers are you? I'm very interested. The only book that I would all kind of books that I would read once is the ones that didn't really grab me. But there are some books like Wizard's First Rule that I will read over and over because it is just so good that the characters grip me. I think the, the conflict is really good. It's got dragons. <laughs> Need I say more? Magic and dragons and boundaries are failing between worlds. So, 
you know, it's my cup of tea. I really like it. I've got the whole series near enough. And I'm just starting on the next series that I need to buy. I haven't had a chance to buy it yet, but I will. I will be buying it. Because I like it and enjoy it. It doesn't feel like work to read it. Like some other books I've read. We are struggle to reach just a couple of a couple of chapters. So I need to try going on some of those. Work out why I don't like it. Why I'm struggling. Maybe it's just the flow. I don't know. I'll have to look into it. What books have you struggled to read? We just really couldn't get into it. Have you worked out why? Maybe it's just the wrong author. Bad day, bad timing. Maybe you just had too much going on. Let me know. Right. Oh. Stink. Hmm. I have got about an hour and ten. About an hour and ten minutes before I have to put dinner on. And I need to get myself some more coffee. Because I can never have too much coffee. Oh, oh dear. Alright then. Hmm. I am finding out. Whilst I am waiting for a reply from someone who's come and join us, I am going to give you the chance to go and make some tea or coffee, hot chocolate, whatever, and get ready for a hot drink challenge. So.
I am black. Oh, cold. I wasn't cold, but now I am. For a hot drink Look, challenge. And I Do have my coffee. Well, what if you use Thunderbolt? And hopefully, somebody join us any moment now. Hope. See what that? Well, you got me for another half an hour. Aren't you lucky? I got somebody joining me yet? Jessica, stop whining. He's trying to help you. Hello. I can say you. I can say me, but that's about it. Right. Hang on. Let me. I've filled out the Wi-Fi. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Add to stream. There we go. Right, you need to lower the the phone a bit so you can put your whole head in. Hmm? Oh, where have you gone? Um. Well, you've come out the thing again. Hang on. Go back into it. I don't know how to find the ground side. How do you get the ground side? Mm. Pencil! Yeah, no. Tell me! Where have you gone? You're not on my screen. Click on the link again.
Jessica, pack it in. Why? Can you see me? Not yet. Yes. Well, I keep on doing that and I have been getting it in. All right, hang on. Uh, to strain. There we go. Yay! You're in. <laughs> Hello. I saw that full bag box that we spent out right off. Oh, ow. Yeah. <laughs> That's not good. No, I just put my long ones as well. I'm really paid now. Oh. Yay! <laughs> I did a 10 minute sprint. And then I went to get some more coffee. <laughs> and then I was just talking to myself for a little bit as I do. <laughs> for the audience that ain't there yet. <laughs> Who knows? It's not watch later. Oh. But my story is getting underway. I've introduced the conflict part two. <laughs> yeah, how much have I done today? This is that's a good question, you know. Uh, where was I? Hmm. I was. So since this stream started, I have written eight hundred and forty nine words. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, and yep. Yeah. Hello, hello. <laughs> Just got to the bit. Well, you need to unmute me. Unmute mic. Unmute. You've got to unmute. Better? <laughs> oh! Hello, baby. Can you hear me? I can hear you because I can hear the dog. Bye. You can't hear me at all. Oh, um, better? Can you hear me? I'm saying. Um. Right, can you hear me now? Uh -huh. Yeah, I could hear you. You couldn't hear me. No, I couldn't hear a thing. We could hear you fine. We heard a dog barking. Yeah, but I couldn't hear you. There was nothing. Totally silent. Oh. Must be your connection. 
can probably signal. Yeah. All right. So you're talking about doing a quick sprint before you make coffee. Yes. I did a 10 minute sprint and I got 300 words in 10 minutes. That wow. is my best time yet. Even I'm not that quick. I was on a roll. I was like, oh, it usually takes me a good 20 minutes. Yeah, I'm not that quick sometimes. My hands can't move that quick. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Most of it was dialogue, to be fair. Yeah. There was a mess in this, um, this village and someone was yeah. being blamed. Oh, but it's really? It's an innocent. It's like, work oh. me, I was here. I didn't know you know, just fit through there, though. <laughs> it's like, oh. it worked me. Yeah. But the elders, because they think he's trouble in the first place, they don't want to check their details or find out yeah. that, you know, if it's somebody else, they've already made their minds up. So they're already planning to put this person into exile. And now like, a load oh. of fairies just like flowing through causing chaos because yeah. trolls have taken over <laughs> and he's going to be playing for that and all yeah uh, somehow some way they've caused this it's like well want something to scream about oh i'll give it to you <laughs> so what the brother going so rogue. So what i'm doing so far jay Joshua is still, he's been kidnapped, kidnapped and held hostage and yeah. threatened to be killed by the, because he's been getting too close about his brother's disappearance. Yeah. I'll cut you up just one moment. I forgot. Yeah. Nobody knows who you are on this channel. So, Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, I've introduced my mum. Hi. <laughs> She has written some short stories and she's a poet. And you can all find her page in the description below. I'll put in a minute so you can find her page. If you want, interested in any of her work, then she puts on Facebook. Right, going back. Yep. You know, you know Joshua's research and his brother's disappearance of the months to the other boys. Yes. Now, so far, he's been kidnapped and held hostage by one of the people who, who was involved. Oh. He's getting too close to the truth as facts are coming to light. And one of them, one of the people who was involved was one of his friends who fought long dead, a fellow, a, a fellow journalist. Oh. Now, oh, nice. as he was taken down a dark passage into a back room by one of the uh, kidnappers, he had a gun pointing in his back. But as he passed through this room along the corridor, he heard the familiar voice from the past. And this is where he comes across when he thought this man was dead. Oh, interesting. Now... He's always gone under the name of being Sam Curtis, just a businessman. But a true, mm -hmm. his true name is Joshua Matthews, a renowned journalist. No. Now, a lot of facts have come to light about the people involved from his past. And like I said, yeah. one of them in particular used to be his friend, a fellow journalist he known long ago who thought all dark who fought who died yeah now at that time of the disappearance of the boys there was a there was a massive jewel robbery jewel robbery in one of the stores yeah near their homes yeah and he reckons one of his friends was involved in that and because one, because all the children used to live in a small town near his jewelers yeah. So he reckoned, he came to the conclusion, he reckoned 
that the children knew him. Otherwise, when they disappeared, no struggle or no blood or anything was shown in, in the homes. So he, must, so he guessed the children knew who they it was. Oh, that's a good one. And because there was five, five boys, yeah. five, backtracking, there was, there was only very few people who knew all the boys. And one of them used to be a football coach in the school. Ooh. And the football coach knows all the personal details about the boys because it's in his team. Now, these boys trusted wow. the football coach, obviously, and he knew where they live, all the ins and outs of their homes, where there's been in and out, picking the boys up to go play football and that. Yeah. But now, years later, Joshua's mother promised, uh, begged him to find out the truth before she yeah. died. And unfortunately, by the time he got to, to where he used to live, his mother yeah. had passed. So now yeah. he's fighting to find the truth as his yeah. final wish of his mother. Like oh, I said, a lot so. of facts have come to light. Yeah. And now, because he's, he's getting close to the truth, and he's find, he decides to call in one of his team. So he called yeah. in his team of journalists who knew he did know and trust to help him to find out the, the facts. Yeah. So there's so so there's three of them working on the case. Cool. Now, now Joshua was a bit confused about the because he's been getting warnings to lay off the lay off the uh, the information what he's digging into. Otherwise, he's going to find himself in concrete yeah yeah but yeah. he but he pushed you out but he ignored the warning what the pe these people were giving him as they do now we decided to go for a walk to clear his head because he had a lot of unanswered questions yeah in the end he decided to go to go towards where we used to live and obviously, he was followed, but he, but yeah. he couldn't say who it was. No, then things begin to uh, click in his head. <laughs> now, things begin to click in his head and put into place. And yeah. all of a sudden, he turned around quick and saw the shadow pointing a gun at him. And he was forced to go into his old house, yeah. where he was being held by gunpoint. He was shoved in a dark. He was shoved in a dark room, where where we couldn't see. But then, if someone entered the room and, st and called him by his real name, he totally denied it. Of course, and said, "My name, yeah. no, my name is Sam Curtis. I'm just a businessman." Yeah. And one of them said, "No, no, no." He said, "We know who you are, Miss Mister Matthews, and you have ignored our warnings." To, to relay off your investigation. Now you're going to be sorry. Oh, so he so, got a little gritty bit. So, yeah, so now this up bloke calls in another bloke in and tells him to, to take Joshua into another room and tells yeah. him to get rid of him. But as Joshua was pushed along this passage at the back of this old house, by a gunpoint sticking in his back, he passes a door where we heard, like I said, I heard a familiar voice from the past. Mm. But as his mind's twirling around, just trying to uh, think who it was, he was pushed into his other room and the bloke closed the door behind him. Oh, oh cool. So I'm the door is reading that. So the door is, ends up getting locked. Well, Joshua hears voices outside arguing. Mm. Yet again, he heard footsteps coming towards the door. Stop! Yeah, and and that familiar voice again. Mm. Now he's looking around the dark room, trying to find yeah. a way out. 
when the, yeah. when he turns around and the door begins to open. Oh. Joshua tries to focus to see whose face he's seeing, all, and all of a sudden he realizes who it was. Yeah. And that's where I'll stop it. Oh. Awesome. You need to put your head a little bit higher. You've been blocked up by your uh, page link. Like that? Yep. A bit more. Or bring it closer. See it. A bit more. <laughs> up. <laughs> Try and get level with my head. <laughs> well, I'm sitting slowly. <laughs> you need to change the angle of your camera. <laughs> yeah, well, um... Oh, God. Oh. I'll just do that. <laughs> no, I can't, can't seem to, to do the camera. Yeah. Just well, means like the, the tablet angle. That's like that. Like. Look. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. That word, but you can hear me anyway. I've put the link to your page in the comments so that yeah. people can have a look. <laughs> anyway, so now I've got to think away now because now Joshua thinks he's going to get killed. Mm. And his mind is racing to find out what to do. Because, mm. yeah, and, and, and he knows he's been about a bit because all the assignments he's been on. And he didn't yeah. survive this long without knowing a few tricks or two. And his mind turning and turning, trying to get himself out of it. Yes. Yeah. To continue what he's doing. And like I said, uh, so that's where it stopped. Yeah. So, awesome. so this bit I'm writing is going to be linked to to that. Cool. Do you like it when stories link together? <laughs> so what I've got in mind, the trial, E gets away, mm. but the leads begin to cool down. Uh, and all of a sudden, something comes up and he starts to reinvestigate it again. Cool. It's a couple who goes towards that picnic ground who Mary's absolutely totally peeved off with John because he yeah. promised her. Yeah. They, they have lunch. She demands to have lunch in the shack underneath the shelter in the picnic area.
Sorry. That's all right. Just get reminding me that a lot of work goes into roast dinner and I've got a chopper market. <laughs> oh, well, son, you better get that on soon, then, didn't you? In about 10 minutes. Right, okay. <laughs> oh. oh, well. <laughs> So we'll do a quick 10 minute sprint. Yeah. <laughs> well, you got your face on the screen for 10 minutes. So, yeah. And promoted your stories and your page. Yeah, I'll get you. All right. 10 minute sprint. In. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, ready? And on. Go get the page up. Yeah, screen. Gosh, you have a girl. Go. Um, I had it. Oh, come on, we can do it from there.
Tell me they go. Share. What, ready? Yep. Right. Right, started. Right, okay.
Well, our turn. How did you do? A page and a half of notebook. Good. Oh. I'll just turn that off. Right. Do you want to listen to what I wrote? I would if I had the time. Well, I've got to go and do that thing. Well, I will read it to you later. Yeah. All right, then. Right. So, I have done... Uh, I'm there. Uh, no, I actually read the restart until someone has a break. Hmm. And then I end up signing the two year old mail. Like a five year old playing football. Yeah, to there. And I have written 383 words. Yay! I don't you realize oh, no. yeah. that's almost 400 yeah, words in 10 minutes. Months. I don't know how many I've done. I've done about a page and a half notebook. Nice. That works out to be about 300 words, I believe. Okay, then. Okay, right. well, done. well done. Thank you. And next time, hopefully, you'll stick around for the whole stream. Yeah. <laughs> you tell that to my mutty what's lying next to me. <laughs> Snore the wiggle. Phoebe. <laughs> Bless her. Right. Okay. I'll speak to you later. I've got dinner to do. Uh, bye. Bye. bye.